In this series of videos, you'll learn how our social, economic, and physical environments affect our health behaviors and our risk for obesity. This video will cover our third topic learning objective, which is to identify aspects of individual social, economic, and physical environments that may interfere with the adoption and maintenance of health behaviors. As discussed in the earlier videos in this series of videos, many features of our social, economic, and physical environments shape our health behaviors. In this video, we'll break down these different types of environments to better understand how they affect our health behaviors and how we can impact these environments so they better promote healthy choices and behaviors that support healthy weight status. Let's first talk about social environmental factors. Social environments include social influences that affect our beliefs, customs, practices, and behaviors within a social setting. Some key social risk factors include socioeconomic status, which describes the social standing or class of an individual group. Indicators of socioeconomic status include educational attainment, occupation, employment, and income. Our relative standing is affected by inequalities in income and experiences of deprivation social capital, social cohesion, and social support are all features of our social networks that influence our behaviors. There are also ethnic and cultural influences on our health behaviors and related attitudes, perceptions, and beliefs. And the levels of safety and crime we experience in our different environments contribute to these social influences as well. When an individual experiences these social risk factors, including low socioeconomic status, income inequality, and deprivation, low social capital cohesion and support, they are ethnic and cultural minorities, and they live in low safety and high crime neighborhoods. These factors lead to the mediating factors of lower material and social resources, lower educational attainment, higher levels of stress, and experiences of racism and discrimination. These and other mediating factors ultimately increase risk for poor diet quality, lower physical activity levels, poor quality sleep, poor self-regulation, inadequate access to health care, and poor mental health. And all of these factors increase risk for weight gain and obesity. Now let's talk about economic environmental factors. Some of these economic factors overlap with the social factors that we talked about, but influence our health behaviors in different ways. These are influences that operate at individual, community, and societal levels to affect the amount of resources we have access to to support our health and our other goals. Some key economic influences include an individual's purchasing power, which is dependent upon the amount of money they have to meet their needs, as well as their communities and their societies' broader economic growth and prosperity, which influences the type of resources that their communities and societies can provide to their residents and the accessibility and cost of those resources. When an individual experiences these economic risk factors, including low individual purchasing power and high price of essential resources, such as housing and food, this leads to the mediating factors of lower abilities to purchase costlier healthy foods, food insecurity, less time for physical activity, and difficulty covering the basic cost of living and healthcare. This ultimately increases risk for the same poor health outcomes that we examined when we looked at social risk factors, and these subsequently increase risk for obesity. Now let's talk about physical environmental factors. Physical environments include both built and natural environments. Built environments include places and spaces created by people, including parks, buildings, and transportation systems. Natural environments include environmental features such as beaches, mountains, or forests. Some key physical influences include features of environments that shape physical access to and opportunities for health behaviors, such as the types of food we have access to, opportunities for physical activity, sedentary behaviors, and sleep. Some features of physical environments that increase risk for obesity can be identified in our homes, workplaces, and stores that we shop in. Within homes, an example of a physical environmental risk factor is a greater number of TVs and other electronic screens, 
Research has shown that homes with more TVs and electronic screens have residents who are more sedentary and more likely to have a higher weight status. Within workplaces, an example of a physical environmental risk factor is greater mechanization and automation of work, which means that workers experience decreases in their daily physical activity levels. Within stores, we know that the store layout, product availability, and placement of products can prompt us to purchase more energy-dense, high-fat and sugar foods and fewer nutrient-dense fruits and vegetables. There are also many features of our broader neighborhoods and communities that affect our health behaviors, including the aesthetics, whether it's actually pleasing to be outside and be active, the safety of these neighborhoods and communities, the mix of land use, whether residential areas are separated from city areas that may be more walkable, the connectivity between individuals and resources, the walkability of these neighborhoods and communities, whether there's urban sprawl where cars are needed to get everywhere you need to go, and the relative density of these neighborhoods. Now that we've discussed these different environmental influences, take some time to reflect on your own experiences. What aspects of your social, economic, and physical environments negatively affect your health behaviors? What aspects of your environments positively affect your health behaviors? And what are some ways that you can emphasize the positive influences and de-emphasize the negative influences? This is the key towards making our environments promote health. Research has shown that environmental change is an essential part of the obesity solution. We know that environments are potent influences on our health behaviors, and personal responsibility can only get us so far when we are in obesogenic environments. Thus, individual behaviors are important, but we must analyze and change our environments as an essential part of the obesity solution. Research has shown the most effective environmental change strategies include making healthy choices the default. So for example, instead of having to pay extra for a salad to come with your restaurant meal, you should get the salad with your meal and you have to pay extra for french fries. Little changes like this that make it easy to make the healthiest choice, or even make it so that you don't even have to think about making a healthy choice, can go a long way in ensuring that our environments are promoting health instead of detracting from it. We also need solutions to reduce inequity by increasing access for all. Health should not be a privilege that's only experienced by the affluent and wealthy, but something that all can access easily, regardless of what their neighborhood or community looks like. We also need strategies to create cultures of health and wellness in our homes, our workplaces, and our broader community. Let's wrap up with some key takeaways. Both research as well as our personal experiences illustrate that features of our social, economic, and physical environments are important drivers of our health behaviors and our health outcomes. Currently, many aspects of these environments promote poor diet quality, high levels of sedentary behavior, and inadequate physical activity and sleep, creating an obesogenic environment that promotes weight gain and sustains obesity. Interventions that target environments can be effective and the most effective strategies strive to decrease inequality and make healthy choices the default for all. That's all for this video. Thank you for learning with me.